Uh, so first of all, if this is your first webinar with us, welcome. Um, and if you've attended multiple throughout our sessions, welcome back. Uh, so today we're gonna be talking about building your professional brand with LinkedIn. Uh, we'll go over your, your profile, we'll give you some tips, uh, we'll talk about um, you know, how to grow your network, and we'll, we'll talk about a little bit why LinkedIn is important. So, so first of all, my name is Sean Forbes. I'm a recruiter with the Division of Global Hiring and Outreach for CMS. Uh, I've been working in social media for about 11 years doing uh, a wide variety of things, uh, but mostly focusing on in recruiting. So what are we talking about today? So we're gonna be talking about why LinkedIn is important for, uh, we'll call it your, your job search toolkit. Um, we'll, we'll talk about building your profile and growing your network. Um, and if you have questions throughout this, feel free to enter them in the chat box. Uh, my colleagues are happy to jump in and answer you know, any questions you have. And if we have time at the end, we'll, we'll try and get to those questions as well. Uh, so I think we're just gonna jump right into it and talk about why LinkedIn. So one of the biggest things is there was a study that was done last year that found that 122 million people received an interview through LinkedIn and 35.5 million uh, have been hired through a per or been hired by a person they connect with connected with on the site. So it really leads me into the first thing of why LinkedIn is, is networking. Uh, networking is huge on LinkedIn. Uh, there's over 175 million registered users in the US. Uh, and so that just gives you an extraordinary amount of reach, uh, you know, contacts, you know, that contacts that you know, uh, contacts that you know through through other people or just contacts in, you know, industries or areas that you're, you're looking to break into or, you know, that you're currently in. Uh, so, so networking is absolutely critical and, and vital to not only your job search, but to being uh, what I would call an effective LinkedIn user. The next thing is job search. Uh, you know, I would say LinkedIn is, is one of the biggest job search sites out there. Uh, there's over, so I pulled this stat yesterday. So currently there are over 50,000 remote jobs available in the US right now, um, you know, that are, that are looking for, for candidates. Uh, you know, 40 million people use LinkedIn to search for jobs each week. And three people are hired every minute on LinkedIn. Uh, so, so the, just the, the sheer volume of jobs on LinkedIn, um, you know, across, I would say across the spectrum, whether, um, you know, the, they're, they're technical or, you know, white collar, blue collar, uh, I would say across the board, um, you know, there, there, there's jobs for, there's jobs for everyone, you know, if you search for them. And so the next aspect to this is recruiting. Uh, around 20,000 companies use LinkedIn to recruit. Uh, you know, uh, we at CMS are, are one of those companies, and 94% of recruiters use LinkedIn to vet candidates. Uh, so we'll get into this once we talk about building your profile and uh, you know building out your skills section. But it, it's it's really critical to have a I would say a, a well-developed LinkedIn profile. Um, you know, the fact that 94% of recruiters use LinkedIn to vet candidates. Uh, when we're looking for candidates on LinkedIn, you know, that's essentially what we're looking at is, is your LinkedIn profile. Um, so in the recruiting realm as well, uh, you know, LinkedIn is really important. That's where a lot of, lot of companies go uh, to look for candidates. So how, how do you make yourself stand out? You know, what's, 
since there's 94% of recruiters that are using LinkedIn to vet candidates, like what can you do to, um, you know, stand out to those recruiters? So, and that's something we're going to talk about right now is, is building your LinkedIn profile. Um, so I'm going to do something a little different today. I had a slide prepared, uh, but LinkedIn moves so quickly with the amount of features and different things you can do to your profile. So I am going just to share my own personal profile um, and, and we'll walk through that. Let's see. So, and I'm not saying that my profile is the greatest one out there, but we'll be able to walk through all the, all the latest features and I'll be able to show you um, kind of walk you through exactly what you can do. So let's see if this works. Hey, Marla, can you see my screen? Yep, all good. All right, thank you. Okay, so building your LinkedIn profile. So your, your LinkedIn profile is really, the, it's the foundation of your, of your whole, your presence on LinkedIn and just your, your professional brand. Um, so we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about a couple things. We're just going to scroll down through uh, this, my LinkedIn profile and, and I'll, I'll call out and, and point out some things as we go. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to start with a profile picture. Um, you know, LinkedIn says that, uh, you know, uh, users who have a, a profile picture show up 14 times more in searches. Um, so, you know, make sure you have a, uh, a you know, a professional a profile photo. I recently changed mine. This is what mine looks like. I think it's how, you know, for the, over the past year now, it's how everyone and all my coworkers have seen me, you know, standing, you know, in front of my laptop in this same very room. So, uh, you know, so I updated that. So make sure your, your profile picture is recent. Um, you know, it's, it's professional. It doesn't have to be, that doesn't mean it has to be professionally taken. Um, you know, just make sure, uh, you know, it's, it's professional looking, you know, lighting's good, things like that. Um, the second thing I'd like to call out is you can add uh, your background or, or cover photo. Um, you know, you can, you can really choose to, you know, make that whatever you want. Um, I chose, so this is a CMS background photo that we've used across, you know, CMS's Twitter platforms and other social media sites. Um, so I just felt as a recruiter for CMS, that was a good fit. Um, you know, I've seen people use colleges or, you know, industry that they're in or their current company that they're working for. Uh, you have a lot of options, but really, and, and we'll see as we go through this, you know, LinkedIn really values profile completeness. Um, I, I think within their algorithm, you know, the more complete your profile is, the more you'll show up in searches and things like that. I don't know that to be 100% true, but I have a, a, a sneaky suspicion that that is. Um, so we're just gonna go down. So the next thing is, this is your headline photo, or your, excuse me, just your headline. Um, you know, you can kind of make that whatever you want, make it just a, a brief, you know, snapshot of, of who you are. A lot of people put, um, you know, their, their current position or their job title, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but you can also try and get a little creative with it. You know, I chose to say, you know, because I am a recruiter, that I'm in talent acquisition and in my role with CMS is, is connecting humans in healthcare. And, uh, that, you know, that's something, you know, that we do and that we're, we're passionate about. Um, the next thing that you can do, and, this piece is, is, is pretty big. Uh, so there, there's a, a point right here that says, show recruiters you're open to work. Uh, so if you click on that and it'll, I think it's, it's a button or a little checkbox that you can select. And what this will do is, um, it'll do a couple of things for you. One, when recruiters search, it'll show that you're, you're open to employment, but it'll also, 
it'll also determine how you're sorted in recruiter searches. So when recruiters uh, like myself search, uh, there's essentially three kind of tabs that people show up in. You know, it's kind of a, an everybody tab, uh, likely to be open to opportunities. So that may be some, somebody that's, that's interacted with your, you know, with your brand, either through your company page or liked an update or shared an update. Or there, and then the third tab is uh, open to new opportunities. So, and I believe that's where most recruiters will will do will search for candidates in that in that one because everybody's, you know, check that box and, and show that they're they're open to new opportunities. Um, so, make sure when you're on your own profile, uh, just go into this and uh, and, and check the box. Uh, Another thing you can do, which is a relatively new feature from LinkedIn, is this. So this profile image here. So because I'm a recruiter, it gives me an option to add this we're hiring little image on the bottom of my profile. Um, if you check that open to opportunities, you'll also have an option to select. Um, I think it'll say, you know, open to opportunities in green here below your profile photo. So that just tells, you know, recruiters across LinkedIn that, that you really are, you know, actively searching for, um, for, for a role with, you know, within uh, an agency or, or a company. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about is your summary or your about section. Uh, you know, so a lot of people tend to, List this is just bullet points of experiences and uh, experiences and you know qualifications and skills and things like that. Uh, what you really should do on this section is is focus on you know telling kind of your almost like personal and professional story. Uh, you know what makes you tick. Uh, you know why. You know why do you you do the things you do. Um, you know what's your background. What's your experience. Um, you know, so I chose to write about how my my passion has, has been about helping people. And I, I know, you know, I think I, I speak on behalf of the recruiters here. Uh, you know, we're, we're really passionate about helping people and, and, you know, really trying to help people find roles, you know, within our agency. Um, so that's kind of where the direction I took with my about was um, you know, my career has, has really been about helping people, whether through, uh, you know, when I was in the Navy or, you know, now with CMS. Um, so really just take some time to, you know, develop and, and you know, craft your, your about section um, and, and tell that, that story of, of who you are. So the, the next thing we can look at is the featured section. Uh, this gives you an opportunity to, um, you know, kind of present some some things up front. Uh, from here, I chose uh, a, a where else but CMS video um, that you know explains you know CMS, who we are, you know, you know the people that are employed here. Um, and the other thing was was an award I won, uh, you know, back with the Navy. But two things that I felt that were, um, you know, that I was passionate about and that were important to me. Um, you know, you can, if you were, you know, if you were published or if, if you worked on, uh, you know, if you're an you know, IT person and worked on, you know, you know, a website or did web design or, or anything like that, anything that, that essentially has a link that you can point people to or hiring managers or recruiters that, you know, that, that helps stand out and help tell this story of, of who you are. Um, this dashboard, that's just, it's private to you, but that'll tell you, you know, just your profile stats, things like that. Um, so your activity, uh, this is kind of, this will kind of go hand in hand with, with networking, um, but you can, you know, I think that the more you share, the more you post content, um, you know, the, the more you'll be kind of top of mind for people, you'll show up in their newsfeed, and you'll just have a greater chance to interact and, um, you know, connect with, with other people on LinkedIn. Um, you know, you don't have to create your own content. Just feel free 
um, you know, sharing, sharing other people's content, because that will really help as well. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is experience. So this section is really important because this, this really tells your, you know, your professional story. Um, so just a, a few tips on this, you know, make sure that you list, you know, all your, your experience um, and make sure that you put just a little, a little blurb in there about, about the work that you do at your current role or the, the work that you did, you know, at a, at a previous role. Um, I don't think it has to be broken out as long or as in detailed as a resume would be, but just enough to give hiring managers or recruiters a good idea of, of the work that you did there. Um, another, another aspect to experience is, uh, so this, you have a, you have an option to add media. So media could be, um, you know, a website that, that you worked on or, you know, that, that a project that, that lives online that you can point to. Um, this is a really good section to just kind of demonstrate and showcase, you know, what you did for that, that company or organization. Um, here I have the careers at CMS page, um, but in, you know, in a previous life at, at different agencies or organizations, um, you know, I've listed, uh, you know, websites for, you know, for uh, campaigns, ad campaigns that I worked on. Um, so you have a lot of room here to really just kind of break out and give people a, a good idea of, of what you, you really did. So I would encourage you to, um, you know, not only fill out the, you know, the experience section well, so that people have a good idea of, of what you what you did and what you accomplished, um, but also if you can add, add some media to that as well. I think it really, uh, you know, completes that, that experience section. Um, so education, I think that's, that's pretty self-explanatory, you know, make sure that you, you know, you put your, your education in there and uh, licenses and certifications, um, you know, any, any license, any, you know, certificate you've earned, um, you know, you can add that here. LinkedIn actually has a ton of resources where you can take courses in classes and as soon as you complete them you can add them directly to your profile uh, a new thing that linkedin is doing is called uh, it's a skills assessment so i don't know the full categories but i know the the early ones that they're doing are like microsoft office suite so word excel uh, i think photoshop is one um, but essentially you can take this skills assessment um, within LinkedIn. And if you pass it, I think you need a, a grade of 70% or more. Um, you'll receive essentially a badge that you can, you can place on your, on your profile that'll say, um, under, excuse me, under your licenses and certifications. And that just shows hiring managers or recruiters that you, you know, have some competency in that, in that area. So I definitely uh, encourage you to look into that. Um, the next thing is volunteer experience. If you have it, add it. Um, you know, and then same thing with, with, uh, with, you know, job or work experience, you know, give a little, uh, a little bit of detail about what you did there. And um, so the next thing, and for me, this is the biggest thing that if you um, if you take away anything from this, um, I think it really has to do with skills. Make sure you update your skills on LinkedIn. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the endorsements, but I really want to focus on on skills. Uh, so, skills is essentially how people find you on LinkedIn, uh, whether you know, whether it's a recruiter search or, you know, hiring managers, um, you know, this is how they're going to find you. And this is, you know, one of your best ways to, you know, to get into those searches, essentially. Um, I know, you know, from, from personal experience, when I'm searching for candidates, uh, you know, I, I tend to search by skills. 
So by skill keywords. So for instance, you know, if I'm looking for somebody, you know, with marketing, I'll look at, you know, marketing strategy and I can, I can add several, uh, several keywords or search terms to this. So make sure, you know, that, that your skills are updated and whether it's what you, you know, what you're currently working in or, you know, or perhaps like uh, an industry you're looking to break into, but you, you have that skill set as well. Um, so make sure you spend some time and, and really um, and, re and really think through and add these uh, these uh, these keywords and these skills because um, that's really going to make a difference. You know whether or not you show up in a in a recruiter search and um, you know and the, the keywords are you know there there's so many different ones. Um, and yeah, so just like I said, make sure you know, spend some time on that and, and really make sure you, you have a, a good, robust, uh, you know, skills uh, section on, on your LinkedIn profile. Um, the next one is recommendations. You know, feel free to give people recommendations. Um, you know, typically people will, will give them back. I think LinkedIn used to focus on this a lot more. Um, I don't know that it's uh, as like heavily weighted in the algorithm as, as once as it used to be, um, but it, but it's something you can do. And accomplishments. So this is a section where you can add any any awards. Um, if you you know if you've presented at conferences, um, you know you can you can add this stuff here. Um, you know again, really, I it's uh, it's really about profile completeness. So just. You know, I would say really dig into it and, and make sure that you have all this filled out. And then the next is just interest. This is who will show up in your in your news feed uh, when you're on LinkedIn. So, you know, make sure you follow, you know, companies that you're interested in or just, you know, industries in general um, so you can stay up to date. I know, you know, we at CMS, we we post a lot of our jobs to LinkedIn on our company page. Uh, so, you know, if you're following CMS, for example, the, that job update will, will show up in your news feed. Um, so I know I've said a lot um, on profile, but um, Marla, are there any any questions that need answering? Yeah, so one right just now? yeah, so one just came in. Um, Catherine wanted to know what do we see from a recruiter's perspective? Um, apparently, it, it sounds like uh, from her view, she can see all the jobs that she's clicked on. Um, so she's wondering from a recruiter's perspective, what, what do we see? Hmm. So that's a good question. So we can't see like your entire history. Uh, we, we can only see if you've interacted with our organization. So if you, you know, liked a post, shared a post, commented, um, or if you previously applied for a job um, through LinkedIn. So we don't, uh, we don't see your entire, you know, profile history. We just see how you've interacted with our organization. That's great. That's the only question we have thus far that hasn't been answered. Cool. Thanks, Marla. Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, so one just came in. Carla asked, "What range of GPA do you recommend?" So, is that so? What range of GPA for? Are we talking I'm, like college? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, Carla. If you want to expand on your question, feel free. I'm gonna guess that CMS might like to look for from college. Yes. Yeah, so um, so all of our, our pathways programs. Um, if you're if you're unfamiliar with the pathways program, we have a great webinar on our YouTube channel that'll explain everything about pathways. Um, but essentially, pathways program is our um, you know our student or you know recent graduate uh, programs, and those those all typically require a minimum GPA of 3.0.
All right. Well, thanks for the questions. Uh, we're just going to keep moving along. I just have a few more things. So let's stop sharing here and go back to this. All right, Marla, can you see that? Yes. All right. So, okay. So now that we've we've built out our profile, we want to talk a little bit about growing your network. Um, we touched on it earlier, just a little bit with uh, talking about you know sharing content that'll you know, really help kind of get you out there on in, you know, in other people's news feeds and get you interacting with, with other, um, other, you know, LinkedIn users. Um, so the, the simplest thing you can do is just connect with the people you already know. Um, you know, that's kind of the easiest list you can do. Um, and also I think LinkedIn gives you an option to, uh, sync your email contacts if you're comfortable with that. So that would be a really easy way to connect with people you already know. Uh, the next thing is re reconnect with contacts you've lost touch with. So these may be, uh, you know, colleagues, um, you know, at uh, previous companies, things like that. Uh, LinkedIn does a pretty good job of uh, you know, recommending uh, what's, you know, called secondary connections, um, you know, people you're connected or people who are connected to the people uh, that, you know, you're currently connected with. Um, so, you know, you know, connect with those contacts that, you know, you haven't spoke with in a while, but, you know, you used to work together. And finally is, is add new connections. Um, you know, so LinkedIn will also provide you, uh, you know, recommendation, recommendations or suggestions about, you know, who to con or who to connect with. Um, but what I also recommend is reach out to contacts in the career field that you're currently in or where you're looking to go. Uh, you know, reach out to recruiters in, in those industries, um, you know, and, and, and connect with them and you know, I know for all of us at CMS, you know, we're, we're happy to connect with people on LinkedIn and have conversations. Um, you know, so I would, I would think, you know, recruiters just across the spectrum, you know, feel the same way. Um, but yeah, so, so reach out to those contacts um, to kind of help build and grow your network. Um, but I think that's it for me for, for presenting other, are there any questions? There's no other questions currently in the box. Um, Carla just asked if we have a webinar about emailing. I'm not sure exactly what that means, Carla. If you want to expand? You mean reaching out to recruiters? Um, I'll take that one, Charles. We don't have specifically um, an email about a uh, webinar about um, reaching out or, or sending professional emails. No, but we will certainly take that under advisement for our future. Yeah, yeah I think that's a, a great segue into, um, first off, just thanking everybody who's intended uh, this entire webinar series. Um, I, know, I know we've all enjoyed hosting them. We hope that you've, you know, you've found them helpful and informative. Um, but like I said, you know, we have uh, more webinars coming up, which is exciting news. And I think, Marla, that's certainly a, um, a webinar we can consider moving forward in the future. Um, but we, Marla, are we looking at spring for for our, our next round of, of webinars? Yep, we're looking at the springtime, potentially March, April timeframe. Okay, perfect. So, um, yeah, so again, uh, you know, we can connect with you through our, our CMS, uh, you know, recruitment email. And as always, you know, follow us, feel free. This is my LinkedIn uh, URL, you know, feel free to connect with us on LinkedIn um, and we'll be posting updates to our 
our CMS Careers webpage, as well as our CMS LinkedIn page about our upcoming webinars. But, um, you know, again, you know, thanks everyone for joining.